It is finished. The time to become Paragon is now. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's finally time. I got done with Act 7. I got the offer, and I can now rank for another six star, my third to become Paragon. So I agonized over this. There are a lot of champions that I would love to take up to rank four. So we'll go over a few of them, and then I'll tell you my uh, decision. So we got Kitty Pride. Um, as you can see, she's already awakened, and I put some six stones into her as well. We've got Black Widow Clairvoyant. She was already awakened, and I think I got her, um, I think I duped her at least once. We got my boy Warlock. Um, Nebula has been proving herself in war quite often, but probably not going to do that. Hit Monkey. I did think about that. Uh, Corvus was an option. He definitely benefits from being ranked four. But I don't really use him all that much anymore. Then we've got Nick Fury. <laughs> Nick Fury. And we've got Cosmic Ghost Rider. All right. Hold on for a minute. Huh. <clears throat> And let's see, Ultron, definitely another one. Apocalypse, definitely another one. <clears throat> Got Diablo. Who would have thought that I would consider taking Diablo up to rank four? Hmm. We got my boy, um, Null, definitely. We also have uh, Nimrod. Now, Kingpin and Mole Man both are worthy, in my opinion. Let's see. We also have Magneto, not so much. He's good already where he is. All right. And let's see, not really Hyperion. I thought about Overseer. I really did. But probably not. And I believe those are my options. Now, uh, finishing Act 7, I can take any champion up to rank 4 now. I have a 1 to 2 rank up gem, and I also have a 2 to 3 rank up gem. So... Anybody is an option. <sighs> Let's look at that. Look at that. There are a lot of champs I would not mind taking up at least to three, but those that I mentioned are the champions that are the candidates. Let's uh, show you just the rank threes. These, um, <clears throat> among these are the candidates, uh, that I mentioned here. And after thinking about it, and also what Kabam did recently played a part in my decision, because I was agonizing. I had too many champs that I wanted to take to rank four. Um, I narrowed it down to a few, but if you guys know... I took Doom up, who's a good champion, uh, but I run Suicides. And then they came out with a new Doom and a new Prestige champ. Now, when I take champions up, 
I don't take them up just for prestige, but their prestige plays a part. So I'm like, okay, they're shaking up the prestige. So you know what I'm going to do? I need to take up a champion that I'm going to use. Okay. That's what I need to do. And thinking about it, I finally came to a decision. And it's going to be Black Widow Clairvoyant. She hasn't been talking to me since I took Doom up over her. So I've got to make it right. Got to make it right for my girl, Clairvoyant. And y'all already know I use her a lot, especially in war. So, without further ado, and there we go. Welcome to my rank four club. <laughs> All right. Ah, I think she'll talk to me again. Look at that. All those mystics just trying to expire on me. So I don't really have to say too much, I don't think, about uh, Clairvoyant. I think everybody knows how good she is. Since I also run suicides quite often, as in all the time, um, she is perfect. Perfect for suicides. Now, let me filter that out. There we go. She is perfect for uh, my suicides. Man, there's a lot of um, uh, ISO. I think I have enough. I didn't check, but I think I have enough. She also, you know, is not one of the biggest damage dealers, but she's got such utility that I had to. I just had to. I, she's... Probably my favorite mystic. When I took Doom up, people were like, oh, man. You took Doom up over Claire? They were so surprised. They were like, wow. But it's because I was factoring in prestige. He was already SIG 200. So, but with what Kabam did recently, just coming out, coming out with these, I'm like, you know what? I need to just rank up champs that I'm going to use uh, that I find very, very useful. Uh, so I already took up Hercules. Uh, he was definitely going to be my first. There was no way he wasn't going to be my first. All right, we had enough. So let's take a look at her stats at rank four. All right. <clears throat> 42,000 health. Oh, yeah. Hmm. All right. I'm going to just run over to um, Realm of Legends here. Uh, let's see. It's over here. And we'll fight a little bit. But I think everybody knows what she can do. But... Let's go here. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we'll throw that in. Yeah, don't care. Don't really care. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go in with these two here. And let's just play around with her a little bit. Show you a little bit of what she can do in case you haven't seen her in action. All right. All right, boom. She's in her Curse of Plague, so I don't have to worry about that. There we go. Switch to Hellfire. Fire off that. Some nice damage right there. And we're just going to cycle that special two. 
show you something here. Heavy attack, boom, puts all the incinerate on her because she's in Curse of Plague. I mean, a uh, Hellfire. That is a lot of damage. Look at this. Boom. Didn't even have to touch him. Still put incinerates on him. Just in case you didn't know that she could do that, too. Build on up. Well, let's do a special one. Nice little incinerates. She can also put poisons in Curse of Plague, and she can put bleeds in uh, Curse of Blood. So, like, I'm in Curse of Blood right now. Special two. Well, now I'm in Curse of uh, Plague. But here we go. This got some power control. See his bar? Here we go. Boom. Poisons. Very, very nice. And she's very sustainable. Yeah, come on. Hit me some more. Actually, I don't want him to hit me because he likes to stun me. Here we go. Look at her health. Yummy. Quite sustainable. So she's got it all. She got some uh, damage, power control, healing. Yeah, definitely my favorite um, Mystic Champion. Boom. Did we finish him off? There we go. Nice. Definitely love me some Claire. All right, guys. That is going to do it. Uh, actually, let me see. Um, before we go, since I took her up, I should be Paragon right now. So let me... Um, Restart the game. And we should get all of our Paragon notifications. Let's see. Hmm. Not seeing it. Let's see. What does that say? Progress. 100%. Rank up three six-star champions to rank four to unlock new crystal upgrades. All right. So where you be? Let's see. I got the title. Yep, there's the Paragon title. Do I need to enable it or something? I'm going to change it. Anyway, let me see. Do I have the crystals? I'm trying to, um, <clears throat> I thought I, I would get, yeah, see, I still have the daily throne breaker. Well, it may take a little bit. But I do have the Paragon title. So I am Paragon. Let's see. This was something I wanted to see. Haha! -ha! Beautiful! So this answers the question, when you become Paragon, you can see here I got the extra Paragon um, objective. So I can get the top... Um, points the top milestone because i became paragon uh before the first week i i was told that i might not be able to do that <clears throat> all right well i guess there's no fanfare but as you can see i got the paragon title and um uh i also got the extra objective but I was pretty sure I should be getting, let me try one more time. 
but I was pretty sure there should be, you know, an email, a, a in-game mail or something. that let me know okay wait 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 there we go okay just took a couple of times there we go okay bestow upon you the summoner title grant okay make use of the resources okay there we go so now See, there it is. Daily Paragon Crystal. Free Paragon Crystal. So no more Thronebreaker uh, crystals. Okay, there we go. Love it. Took a couple of uh, restarts, but we got it. All right, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.